Today I'd like to do another video on earthquake preparedness, and this one's going to focus on securing your home furniture and aquariums from toppling over during an earthquake. We're going to feature the Quake Hold furniture safety straps, which are used to connect your furniture to the studs in your walls. So basically you screw one end to the stud of your wall, the other one end has an adhesive that attaches to the piece of furniture or aquarium, and that's going to prevent it from toppling over away from the wall during an earthquake. We're also going to do a do-it-yourself method for attaching some aquariums. So let's get started with this video featuring earthquake quick preparedness and securing your home furniture. Now that the stud finder has been properly calibrated, let's use it to find an actual wooden stud in the wall. So I have the screw, washer, and then the quick hold strap. So let's get drilling. A little first person shooter here. Looks like I should have lowered the screw a little bit, but now it's just a matter of attaching it to the Velcro. That looks more like it. To test out the Quake Hold Furniture Safety Strap, I screwed it into a 2x4 like you would see in the study of your wall, and I connected a little handle with some 550 paracord and did a various t testing scenarios. For those of you that saw the sneak peek video, you saw that my vertical testing did not go too well. My horizontal testing worked much better, and that's the intended use of the Quake Hold Furniture Safety Straps, just to make something not tip over in an earthquake. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this screw and the washer, okay? You watching? Yep. Okay, and we're going to use the drill. We're going to drill them into the wall, and we're going to connect it with one of these straps, okay? And so if there's see an earthquake... This eye right here? Yeah, I see. Dad, Dad. If, if there's an earthquake, then this strap will hold your fish tank up against the wall, okay? I think we need two of them. You got it? Got it. All right, let's go. Okay. Here, do you want to you try this? Is it dangerous? Well, there's nothing in it, but you only do this with a grown-up, okay? You can try it. So what, you got it? It's heavy. All right, so, yeah, life. you could try. Personally. Good. That's what Daddy did right there. Really good. Let's see if the stud finder works on you. Oh, it does. Daddy, let me see. Oh, it does. You're a stud, too. We're going to attach the bunk bed on the wall so that doesn't fall over too. All right, no, 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 not wrong area. So get it right there on the screw. Fill up screw, line it up, push in. Okay, only do this with Dad, okay? Push in, go. All right, this one's looking good too. All right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I also put the Quake Hold Furniture Safety Straps on the 72 gallon fish tank, as you see here on both sides. Uh, but after doing my testing, I just don't trust the Velcro to be able to hold this amount of weight. This fish tank is uh, 72 gallons, so it's around 600 pounds of water alone. Uh, the rocks in there is about another 125 pounds. Uh, the glass is heavy as well, and the stand. So I think this is time to do a little do-it-yourself project to make sure that this thing is properly secured. The fish tank that you see in the background here is our primary concern during an earthquake because of the size and the weight of it. So what I'd like to do now is show you a quick little earthquake simulator and shows what could happen to a fish tank if it were to top over during an earthquake. Start the video. As you can see, that would definitely not be good. 
For this do-it-yourself project, I'm going to be using three of these stainless steel screw eyes and I'm going to be using some paracord. But rather than using the standard 550 paracord, this is 750 paracord. So instead of just having seven individual strands inside that paracord, this has 11. So I'm going to be using two on each side of the fish tank of, for these screw eyes and then one in the middle on the lower part of the fish tank to connect the fish tank to the wall in addition to the stand that it's sitting on. Here's how the custom earthquake strapping now looks on the fish tank. As you can see, it no longer has the quake hold furniture safety straps on the side. So when we look really close on it, we have the 750 paracord just sitting right up there on the top of the lid, as you see there. And then also on the bottom part, I also have another line of the 750 paracord. Again, it's really hard to see. It almost looks like it's a rubber seal on it. I think this will work out good for distributing the weight on it. So instead of having something that's just going to be yanking on one particular side of the fish tank, it's going to be evenly balanced now throughout the entire body of the fish tank. So let me show you in the back on what it looks like really quick. As you can see in the back, I have it bolted into the studs of the wall, but this time I'm using the 750 paracord. I even practice my bowline knot, as you see there, and that's going all the way around up against the lid of the fish tank. So it's going to wrap all the way around here, as you see. And then it's going to go back to this area that's with the other knot. If you could look down in there. So those are the two knots that you see there. Then way down at the bottom here, I have the stand actually connected to the fish tank. Let me show you that really quick. Here's what it looks like from inside of the stand. So as you can see, the 750 paracord's wrapped around the stand a few different times. It's also connected to the back of the fish tank as well, and then uh, they're both tied into that little bolt that you see there that's also in the stud of the wall. I'm pretty happy with how this solution turned out. Not only does it look a little cleaner on the sides, as you see there, but I'm a little bit more comfortable with the weight bearing of the 750 paracord. I also like that it's more evenly distributed throughout the entire uh, bow front of the fish tank. And then the fish tank's also more connected to the stand through the back there. So if it were going to tip over this way, you know, from the top top part, uh, this, this little piece of the paracord would catch it. And then if it was to go on the bottom, it's not going to kick itself off of the stand uh, because both the stand and the bottom part of the fish tank are connected to the stud as well. Let's go back to the monkey bars one final time using the single strand of the 750 paracord and the little stainless steel screw that we used for the aquarium. <laughs> I think that's gonna work. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video featuring earthquake preparedness and securing your furniture and aquariums from toppling over during an earthquake. We feature the quake hold furniture safety straps, a little bit of paracord, and some testing, Hacksaw Jim Duggan style. So please feel free to leave any kind of comments below in the comment section and stay tuned for more videos featuring earthquake preparedness. See ya!